It is now in order to consider amendment number 24 printed in part B of House Report 116 to 154. For what purpose does the gentleman from Indiana seek recognition? Madam Chair, I have an amendment at the desk. The clerk will designate the amendment. Amendment number 24, printed in Part B of House Report number 116-154, offered by Mr. Pence of Indiana. Pursuant to House Resolution 491, the gentleman from Indiana, Mr. Pence, and a member opposed to each will control five minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Indiana. Thank you, Madam Chair. I rise in support of my amendment, which is deeply personal. Madam Chair, I was assigned to the 3rd Battalion, 3rd Marines. In 1983, my battalion was ordered to Beirut, Lebanon. On October 23rd of that same year, an Iranian national affiliated with Hezbollah, a terror group founded, trained, and financially supported by the Iranian regime, drove a truck bomb into the U.S. barracks in Beirut, killing 241 servicemen. 220 which were my fellow Marines. It is by the grace of God that I am standing here today. My battalion shipped out 10 days before the bombing. I was lucky. I was able to come home to my wife, who was expecting our first child, and my family in Columbus, Indiana. As a proud U.S. Marine, Congressman Gallego and I authorized this bipartisan, bicameral, legislation to provide a sliver of justice for the 241 heroes who were not as lucky that day. Madam Chair, our amendment is simple. The URA Act would allow the families of the bombing victims to execute on the $1.6 billion in Iranian funds currently held by a European-based firm. These funds were laundered through New York before making their way to Europe where they sit just outside the hand of justice. Regardless of the party you conference with or the district you represent, we can all agree that terrorists and those who support them financially must be held accountable for their actions. When I joined the Marines in 1979, I made a promise of Semper Fidelis. Semper Fi is a long, lifelong commitment held by every Marine in the Corps in America, a promise reciprocated by the Corps to all Marines. Madam Chair, we must uphold this promise. Marines are the first to fight, and this time we're fighting for the Gold Star families who lost their loved ones. I urge my colleagues to support this amendment and stand with Congressman Gallego and me and our colleagues in the Senate to honor the faith and loyalty of the 241 American servicemen who made the ultimate sacrifice. Madam Chair, URA stands for our obligation to recognize American heroes. Or as the Marines say, URA. I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman reserves. Does any, does any member seek time in opposition? Thank you, For Madam. what purpose does the gentleman rise? Thank you, Madam Chair. I rise to claim time in opposition, though I am not opposed to the amendment. Without objection, the gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Madam Chairman. I rise in proud support of the amendment sponsored by fellow Marine and public servant Mr. Pence. October 23, 1983, remains seared in the memory of all Marines. On that day, over 300 innocent people were killed in a surprise terrorist attack sponsored by the government of Iran. Most of the people killed 36 years ago were my brothers. They were U.S. Marines. They were serving our country and doing their best to preserve the peace in war-torn Lebanon. We know what the wheels of justice turn slowly. Mr. Chairman, it took over 35 years for victims to get traction in U.S. courts. But now that they are getting that traction and winning judgments, Marines in Congress are here to help to ensure that Iranian funds cannot be hidden from them in secret foreign bank accounts. This amendment helps the families of those killed and wounded by making sure that Iran is held liable for this attack. It makes it harder for Iran to hide money in overseas bank accounts when it should be paying for the pain and suffering of its victims. It shows that even 36 years after the attack, we have not forgotten, and once again proves that U.S. Marines remain no better friend and no worse enemy. Thank you, Madam Chairman, and I yield back. The gentleman yields back. 
The gentleman from Indiana is recognized. I thank the chairman and ranking member for their leadership and my colleague and fellow Marine from Arizona, Mr. Gallego, for his faithful service and unwavering support on this legislature. I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields the question on the amendment offered by the gentleman from Indiana. Those in favor say aye. Those opposed say no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. The amendment is agreed to.